Hey, Rector here. So it's a little different today than uh, other days because I don't know exactly what I'm going to talk about yet. But first, basically, it's Saturday, April 13, 2019. And I wanted to give a quick little update. Um, that workout that I did the other day was brutal. It wasn't so terribly challenging when I did it, but the recovery was awful. The next day, my whole body was in pain. I mean, my anterior delts were really, really painful. Um, my pecs were really, really sore. My lats were really, really sore. Even my uh, traps were sore a little bit. So uh, that workout worked really well. If you want to know if you're working out properly or if it's effective, find out if your muscles are sore. Because if they're sore, you can bet that you did a good job working them out. So that means it's working. So I'm going to start doing another workout today. I skipped yesterday because I was so sore and exhausted. I think I actually slept 12 hours last night because it's Saturday morning, which is awesome. I got really lucky. Went to bed at 7, woke up at 7. Couldn't believe it. 12 hours of delightful sleep. So listen to your body. Body said, I need recovery, and that's what I got. Now, um, <clears throat> there were a lot of things that I mentioned on the last video and a bunch of different clips, but I couldn't splice the clips together because YouTube and my phone wouldn't let me. So essentially, I'd have to look at all the clips again to tell you everything that I said and then I didn't get to say again. But bottom line is we're doing rotations between different body parts, which ones are not sore, which ones are sore. Today I was going to do um, planche, etc. But my anterior deltoids are still pretty sore. My pecs are pretty sore. So I'm going to work on my traps instead. So after this video... I'm going to do as many sets as I can of um, handstand, I wouldn't say push-ups, just handstand holds for about two minutes, and then two minute rest periods, then two minutes holds. I'm probably only going to be able to do three or four sets because it's really, really, really painful. And of course, I'm going to be doing stretches during the rests. If you want to grow your muscles quickly, failure on your rep, or your sets I mean, and then stretch, 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 stretch those puppies in between your sets because they're inflamed, they're full of blood, they're engro engo um, hmm, engulfed, engrossed, whatever, but they're inflamed and they're breaking down, so you have to stretch them, get cause some micro tears in the tissue, and that is the best way to stimulate growth, so you're working them hard and you're stretching them hard, so that's what I'm going to do, um, Depending on how brutal it is, I may or may not work out tomorrow because it's really, really uh, a matter of listening to your body. You don't want to overtrain because it's so easy when you're excited about starting something new. You say, I'm going to work out no matter what. And then you hurt yourself. Then you have to stop for a week. So, even though people say never take breaks, those people most likely never push themselves as hard as they possibly can. So, push yourself as hard as you can and then listen to your body. I, once again, am going to do some trap workout today, tomorrow. My goal is to do planche workout. If I can't, I'll probably try to do some um, leg lifts, some hip flexor and ab workouts, just because if I am sore elsewhere, those potty parts normally aren't too sore. Again, yesterday, everything was so sore, I couldn't hardly move. I was oh, exhausted. Even the idea of lifting my legs up while holding my body with my arms was exhausting. So now I think I've ranted on long enough. I'm going to go work out and build these guys up. All right. Bye-bye.